Huntington's disease is different from any other disease because it's genetic. If one of your parents have it, then it's a very high chance, 50-50, that you'll have it as well. Well, our family is part of the Huntington's community. Huntington's disease has impacted our life because it is quite a daily struggle. Randall and I live each day and also our children may be affected by the disease. Um, some of the ups and downs are, it's just hard to get around. Um, Randall and I are basically housebound. Even going to the toilet sometimes can be um, a production. Um, I have to physically get him into the wheelchair, physically take him to the toilet, physically get him back into the wheelchair, get him into the car, physically um, take him there, get him physically out. So it can be quite tiring on both him and myself. Huntington's disease has impacted my life for about the last eight years. Uh, I guess we had a different childhood growing up compared to most children as we had to take on more of a, a serious role um, to help out with the daily life of our dad. I got genetic testing in 2013 uh, and then got the results quite soon after that, after I went through um, some genetic counselling. I always believed that Natasha was, would come back with a negative result and Randall did as well. So it was really shocking for us that day that um, Natasha came back with a positive result for having the Huntington's um, gene. Um, I'd always known that uh, I had a 50-50 chance and I'd always kind of convinced myself that I was um, negative and was going to like live forever. Um, and then going in to get the results, I told myself, oh, that might not be the case. And then getting the result, obviously I was devastated. Um, and because my parents were upset, I was upset. I can't even find the words to describe how I felt. I wanted to take her place. I wanted to um, just make it go away. And obviously if we had have had access to PDG, Randall and I would have gone down that path as well. And that's why it's really important for our family to finish it now. So they've got PGD, which is just an extra add on top of IVF. Um, and that can completely eradicate the disease from a family's gene pool. The Huntington's disease community is being stopped from accessing this as it's a very expensive treatment to undergo and it's not highly effective so often there'll be multiple rounds of IVF and PGD so there's not a very high success rate for it. To have access to the technology uh, means that we can bring a new generation of children into the world that won't ever have to deal with uh, not only their family members having the disease, but also um, themselves going through genetic testing and wondering uh, if they have it or not. So the general public can support the Huntington's Disease Victoria campaign to allow a better access to PGD for those suffering from Huntington's disease um, and stopping HD with PGD. Um, please help us by supporting Huntington's Victoria campaign to make Huntington's part of our history, not our future. <laughs>